Okay, today I'd like to show you a brand new way of installing Windows Update. It's not so much a new way as it is a faster way. Um, it kind of speeds the process up, whether you're doing a clean installation in your shop or you're at somebody else's house who has a slower connection. This really does speed up the process. It really has to do with the software distribution folder. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the method I use to set it up and then the method on how I use it. Now this is all assuming I have Internet Explorer 8 installed first. You can do it without Internet Explorer 8, but it's just one less thing to download during the Windows Update process. So first off, we're going to start by going to Windows Update. This might be the first run of Internet Explorer. Ah, let's just ask me later. Okay. Thank you for that. And basically what we're doing here is, let's go ahead and turn our automatic updates on. And this can be done when you have a brand new computer in your office and you do all the Windows update for the very first time. Once all the updates finish, pretty much you copy all the files that have been downloaded into the you know, C, and here I'll show you, C, let's see, Windows, software distribution slash download folder. This folder will be populated by a lot of files. And so we're gonna go ahead Right now, it's checking for updates. Um, and then just copy this somewhere else, either to the desktop of the machine you're working on or to a thumbstick to an external hard drive. And I'll show you that later here. And of course, when you're recording, this process takes time. So we're going to go ahead and pause it. And we're going to go ahead and let it do its thing. Okay, and I don't know why it took that long, but it finally finished. So we're going to go ahead and say yes to that box, and then install now. You'll notice on the first run, and what I'm going to do is once we get done installing all the updates, we get the software distribution folder all created. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, revert the virtual machine back to a snapshot before any of these updates. Um, so you can kind of see a speed difference and uh, see how the process works. It's so much nicer on a virtual machine than it is on an actual machine, because... At a click of a mouse, you can revert the machine back to a previous state. It's, it's really quite nice. So these updates are finishing up. And we probably have about, I don't know, what, 70, 80 updates to do. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay, we'll, just go ahead and, well, we'll keep this folder open. You can just see how it populates it. Success. 72. Not bad. Go ahead and say review install updates and install. And you'll see as it's installing here, this folder is getting bigger and bigger. Right now we have 15 objects. And then that number will keep increasing. Well, you can already see uh, more folders. So since you really don't want to watch updates download, oh, there's 19, we're going to go ahead and pause it until the... Um, Okay, it's just about done, but I want to show you one more thing here. Now, some people may think I talk kind of fast, and that's only because I only have 12 minutes to get everything I want to say in the video. I could split the video into two parts. A lot of work. Nobody wants to watch it in two parts. And I'm not one of those partners that can record as long as they want, so I'm trying to get everything said in roughly 12 minutes. So it's just about finishing up. But what I want to say is this is the folder right here that you can either co or just copy over the network to a different computer or put on an external CD or external um, either a thumbstick or an external hard drive. In my case what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move this to my desktop out of the VM, compress it down to a self-extracting zip. So when you open it up it's going to say do you want to extract this to C Windows software distribution slash download. So I'm going to go make that file and we'll rerun the updates again and see how much of a difference it makes. Thanks. Okay we're back. So we just got done installing Internet Explorer 8 because I forgot to make a snapshot with that in it. So let's go ahead and take a look at our software distribution folder. And you'll notice the download directory has a few in there. Um, that's only because probably automatic updates. Or, well, that's probably from Internet Explorer downloading updates. Um, just a few. Now, here is our self-extracting exe that we made earlier. Let's go ahead and open it up. I'm going to go ahead and extract it. It's extracting a software distribution, not slash download, because I actually zipped the download folder up, so it'll just be assumed. Go ahead and extract. 
Oops, I don't want to pop it again. And so in the process, on a slow connection, this is the time it would take to download the updates, essentially. Right now, you're downloading the updates. Okay, it's done. And we're going to go ahead and run Windows Update. Let's see what we got. And we're going to go ahead and perform the uh, quick scan or the quick thing later. Yeah, screw you. Let's see, there we go. Now, one thing you'll notice is the part where it downloads the um, initial validation checker. I should go a lot faster. This whole scanning part, I don't know, it could just be the VM, but I don't think it likes me very much. I'm conserving time again. We're going to go ahead and pause it until it finally finishes whatever it's doing here. Okay, didn't take as long as last time. We're going to go ahead and hit yes and watch this. Done. Installing. <laughs> a little bit quicker. Now, the one thing I always found that keeps downloading over and over again, regardless if it's in there or not, is one, the .NET framework and the malicious software removal tool. So that always w w wants to download. So we're going to hit continue. We're going to hit install updates, install, and there we go. And that's the flash update. Like I say, some updates just refuse to, they just want to download again, like that one. I don't know why that one does. But as you can see, the majority of them are just fine already being in the download directory. So it really helps if you're on, if you know somebody who's on dial-up and you do, and you do work for them or on like one of those people that by the lowest of the low of the low of the low <laughs> um, high speed connections, the 250 kilobyte service. Ugh, those kind of people. And mainly you can just tell them to install updates and leave, but this will at least make it go faster for them. See, we're already up to 50 updates. And they all install properly, so that's about it. That's the test and the demonstration on um, how you can create your own update pack. And this thing actually rang in at 250 megs, so it's not that big. There we go. They're done. They're installing. Well, thank you, and I'll try to get more videos out quicker, but we'll see how that goes. Thank you.